family of light. Message begins right now. Greetings beloved one, indeed, I, Orion, am here. I greet you in this very moment in the vortex of love and high vibrational energy of the divine that is broadcast from the realm of spirit into your world and into your life. Know that this frequency is broadcast now to uplift you. All you must do is relax, let your mind be calm, release any thoughts that come into your awareness, and focus upon your heart, the passageway to divine love. Allow your heart to open and as you consciously open your heart chakra, you open your energy up to receive the blessings of divine in this now, blessings of love, of upliftment, of joy which automatically release density, release stagnant energy, release ego based thoughts, ideas, and fears, let these go, know that there is the natural tendency to analyze, to judge, to think about what is happening around you to think about your challenges and your struggles and your doubts, but for right now, for today, let these go and let yourself have permission to stay focused upon love, to stay focused upon the silver lining, to stay focused upon love and upon that which you do desire to manifest more of, that which you desire to draw unto you. A slight shift in your energetic signature is happening now as you accept this frequency of divine love, as you integrate more love into your body, mind, and spirit. As I continue to speak these words, to calm your mind, and to assist you in entering more fully into the heart space, your energy is increased. In between and behind every word is frequency flowing your way now. Don't let this in. You may feel now light pouring in from above your head as your mind now receives a cleanse of divine light, a waterfall of divine light, flowing in flowing specifically to the realm of mind and thought, imagination, lifting you above the demands and the worries and the doubts of your ego mind, for although you experience ego, you are more than simply ego, and so now as frequency is directed towards your mind, your mind's eye, and, indeed, your ego, lifting you, dear spiritual being, in awareness up and out of the realm of ego, transmuting the demands, the doubts, the busyness of your ego mind, uplifting you now into the realm of divine mind which is peace, mercy, well-being, still, and calm. Is your love to grow, from within your open heart and tune with your awareness, the silence between these words, the still within your heart soothes and brings healing to your entire being. In your busy, crazy world of flashing lights and beeping sounds, of constant bombardment from media, from mads, from chatter of people, and of your own mind, it is easy to get caught up in the 3D, to spiral out of control and up and away in the demands of others and the thoughts of your own. And yet I connect with you in this moment to say to you, you are more, you have always been more, and, ultimately, your ego is the least of your concerns. When you give yourself permission, when you are feeling low, or even when you are feeling good, to quiet your mind, to turn off the switch of mind and turn on the switch of awareness and of your open heart, much of the struggle you often experience will simply be dissolved away. So much of your struggle simply comes from your perspective of viewing the events of your life, when you let go of thinking about and analyzing your every move and your every moment and you allow yourself to simply accept what is and through this acceptance and surrendering the need to think about and analyze and worry about and wonder about, you are able to drop in, to center, to ground, to open your heart, and thereby be illuminated, for when you open your heart, you are linking directly with all, you are directly linking with the divine which flows throughout all of existence. But I say to you now, when you are in a mental mode, when you are in doubt, when you are in fear, when you are in worry, when your thoughts are spiraling out of control, magnetizing others' thoughts to you and creating a huge cloud of thought around you, the divine seems far away. Challenge seems real, struggle seems real, hardship seems real and the density of the physical realm is drawn to you and it seems real. Your lesson in this is to shift, to shift your perspective, to shift your awareness. You always have the opportunity to shift. And so what does the shifting look like? 
It is simple, it is choosing to release the mental mode of thinking and relating, it is choosing to release the doubts and the fears which plague you and which focused on compound the slight annoyances which focused upon draw more unto you, release them, release mind, enter into your heart, dive in through awareness, through consciousness, open your heart and the still you find therein nurtures all, nurtures you, soothes your mind. Notice that even now simply dropping in and open your heart brings you healing on a subtle level, soothes the worry of your ego, soothes the doubt, soothes your entire being, and so, yes, the process is simple, be aware of your energy, be aware of how you manage energy, and by energy I mean how you manage yourself, body, mind, spirit, awareness, light, be aware. And so as you go throughout your day with awareness, you are able to quickly notice when you experience a drop in energy, when, for some reason, you shift out of being and shift into thinking, doubting, feeling bad, feeling challenged, sad, down. To release, dive into the feeling, for suppressing it will simply lead to it coming up again in the near future, but, for now, dive into whatever uncomfortable feeling is present let yourself feel it take your power back from it and release it into the light and then drop into your heart open your heart when you open your heart your light is activated around you your spiritual vibration frequency receives a bump in vibration in light enter into your heart open and allow yourself to just be the ability to be to accept what is in the moment this does not mean you have to be happy about it, but simply accepting what is will eliminate much of your struggle, will allow you to be present. Notice that as I continue to speak these words, your energy becomes lighter and lighter. This is because you are focused upon your heart and so you are able to tune into and embrace and invite in the high vibrational light frequencies of the divine, divine mind, body, and spirit codes of light are downloaded into you. These divine frequencies are always present around, but when you are in your mind, when you are in thought and worry and the spiral of negative thinking, the divine qualities are elusive, and so release the mental mode of being daily, hourly, and enter into your heart, for the healing within your heart serves you, cleanses you, illuminates you in vibration so that you are able to effectively manage your energy in the moment, and if you are amidst a challenge, by dropping into your heart, the path of least resistance will appear. The path of love, for love, indeed, knows the way. Love, indeed, will get you through. With your willingness to let go of the spiral of mind and enter into your heart, you are reclaiming the divine qualities of love that are your birthright. Responding with love in every moment is the master path to full awakening, the master path of spiritual growth. Anchoring your full Christ consciousness, divine qualities of mind, body, and spirit into the physical. To complete this link fully is a life journey, but you can achieve a huge leap right now. For the rest of your day, choosing to stay in love despite whatever occurs in the world around you, despite whatever annoyances or challenges or struggles happen, you can choose to enter in, to enter into love to accept whatever is happening is urging you towards more fully illuminating the divine qualities within you. Every moment is your opportunity to practice returning to love, drop into your heart, open your heart, let your mind be still, let yourself listen, let yourself be aware, and let yourself remain in love, and this love will illuminate your divine mind your qualities of divine body and qualities of divine spirit. Already your energy has received a bump up in frequency. By staying centered in your heart, you can maintain this uplifted vibration. By staying centered in your heart, you can remain aligned with the path of love, the path of least resistance, the direct path towards accomplishing your highest purpose which, of course, will bring you joy and love and new levels of these divine qualities into your life, and when you bring blessings into your life it ends not with you, indeed, this ripple of divine frequency flows throughout all making the step back, the drop in, the opening of the heart easier for you and easier for all who walk this path, 
you are connected to all. This is why it is important for you to not engage in the density and duality which your ego wishes to pull you into. Engage in this resistance of the ego mind, which seeks to block you from your highest purpose, from being large and mighty in spirit, in love. And so drop in, open your heart. This is the source of infinite well-being and power within you not from outside, from within. From within you can impart lasting changes in your world and in the collective consciousness field. Remember this, if you feel weird, drop in. If you feel strange, release your mind and enter into your heart, into love, into full presence and awareness of this very moment and the love of your heart will get you through, in an enjoyable way, in a positive way that feels good. That leads to more vibrant living and well-being on your behalf and more vibrant living and well-being for all that you are connected to, which is all. The path of love is the master path to awakening your full qualities of the divine, your spiritual gifts, your psychic abilities, your intuition, your compassion, your ability to serve and make an impact here in the physical form. You are here to leave a lasting impact upon humanity and upon earth and love is the direct route to accomplishing all this and more. We understand in the realm of spirit that in the physical realm it is easy for you to turn away from love, it is easy for you to get pulled into the drama of duality, but it is also within your choice and within your awareness to turn away from the drama, to disengage in any moment and to enter into your heart and into love. The point of power. The point by which your qualities of the divine can manifest into your being. Do you need inspiration? Enter into your heart. Are you looking for a new, powerful idea? Enter into your heart. Do you need to overcome a horrendous challenge upon your path? Release your mind. Enter into your heart. And the path of least resistance. The path of love. The divine path will appear. Your heart is advanced technology by which your scientists are merely scratching the surface of the true ability of the heart. More upon this will be discovered and be known. You are able to be on the cutting edge now. Activate your heart fully by entering into the realm of heart daily, tuning into your heart, opening, and letting your heart chakra portal be completely illuminated with divine love and with divine frequency. Simply opening your heart is enough to get started, but then call in your guides, your angels, divine light, creative source, love, and these will carry you forward, will help you to flow through challenges and struggle. Enter in, open your heart and know that all is well. I am Orion and you are so dearly loved. As I leave now, I flow a final surge of divine frequency your way. Let this uplift you and now carry this light with you throughout your day. Let it remind you that when you approach a challenge in the physical world, you have full choice to drop in, to love, and this love will ensure that you overcome your challenges in the way that will most serve you and most serve all through the perspective of love, through the divine quality of love, and of illumination. You are love and you are dearly beloved. I leave you now with light, with divine love and with well-being, and so it is, and so it is, goodbye for now, end of the message, much love to all of you soul sisters, brothers, watch DNA Awakening previous videos for better understanding, new subscribers will be updated with the latest articles and informations, we hope this channel has helped you discover where to start on your actual spiritual path, it's a good karma to put a like, comment, subscribe and share with your beloved ones leave your suggestion in the field below all the love to you beautiful soul